China has just crossed a line that could redefine modern warfare. It tested the MD-19, a rocket-powered hypersonic drone capable of speeds beyond Mach 5 and operations near the edge of space. This isn't a concept, it's flying now. Able to launch mid-air, evade radar, and carry out missions autonomously, the MD-19 is designed to outmaneuver satellites and overwhelm defenses. In this video, we'll explore the technology behind it and how it fits into China's broader military strategy. The MD-19 hypersonic drone is one of the most advanced aerial reconnaissance platforms ever unveiled by China. Building upon the MD-22 testbed revealed at Zhuhai Air Show 2022, this new drone showcases revolutionary features in both design and performance. The drone measures between 8 and 11 meters in length and is estimated to be capable of flying above Mach 5, placing it squarely in the hypersonic category. At these speeds, it becomes nearly invulnerable to interception by current-generation air defense systems. Its high-altitude capabilities allow it to operate in what's referred to as near space, well above conventional aircraft, but below orbital satellites, giving it a strategic sweet spot for stealthy surveillance. From a design perspective, the MD-19 shares several traits with its predecessor, the MD-22. It features a wedge-shaped fuselage that minimizes aerodynamic drag, delta wings to generate lift and maintain stability at high speeds, and canned V-tail fins, a stealth feature also seen in modern fighter jets. However, what truly sets it apart is the absence of air intakes, strongly implying the use of liquid-fueled rocket propulsion instead of jet engines. This gives it explosive takeoff velocity and performance at altitudes jet engines cannot reach. The MD-19 is designed for air launch, meaning it can be deployed mid-flight from carrier platforms like the TB-001 Twin-Tailed Scorpion or China's H-6M Strategic Bomber. Air launching drones allows them to begin missions at altitude, conserving fuel and bypassing surface-based tracking systems. Once deployed, the MD-19 enters a fully autonomous flight mode and can even execute runway-based landings, suggesting it's not a one-way system like some kamikaze drones. The drone also features tricycle-style landing gear, including a twin-wheel nose strut, enabling conventional recovery and reuse. This is crucial, China isn't just building expendable tech, but creating sustainable platforms for iterative missions. Recent footage released by Chinese media showed a successful launch and recovery sequence, offering visual confirmation that the MD-19 is more than a prototype. It's a functional hypersonic asset. The development and deployment of the MD-19 are not isolated events. They're calculated steps in a much broader Chinese military strategy centered on control, speed, and unpredictability. This drone fits squarely into the Eastern Theater Command, which oversees sensitive zones like the Taiwan Strait, the East China Sea, and parts of the South China Sea. These are areas where tensions with regional powers, Taiwan, Japan, and the United States, are already high. Strategically, the MD-19 operates in a space traditionally dominated by satellites or manned aircraft. However, satellites are predictable. Their fixed orbital paths make them vulnerable in any prolonged conflict, as adversaries know when and where they will appear. On the other hand, manned surveillance aircraft are costly and risky, especially when flying over hostile territory. That's where the MD-19 changes the game. Capable of launching quickly, flying fast, and maneuvering unpredictably, it becomes an ideal asset for tactical surveillance in contested zones. It can monitor enemy installations, track naval movements, or scan military buildups with minimal risk of detection or retaliation. The drone's flexibility in terms of launch platforms is particularly critical. The H-6M bomber, for instance, has already been observed carrying the WZ-8, a supersonic drone. Now, with MD-19 entering the mix, China effectively builds a layered reconnaissance system. The H-6M could launch multiple drone types, each suited for different speeds, altitudes, and mission types, within a single sortie. This kind of aerial diversity increases operational complexity for any potential adversary. China's broader military doctrine emphasizes the reconnaissance strike complex, a concept that focuses on using fast, stealthy platforms to detect and target enemies in real time. The MD-19 is a perfect fit. It can gather high-resolution imagery, deliver telemetry data to command centers, and potentially serve as a targeting node for missile systems or bombers. 
In the future, it may even carry electronic warfare payloads or anti-satellite systems. Crucially, its ability to return and land makes it ideal for data retrieval and post-mission analysis. This allows the PLA to not only use real-time intelligence, but also study enemy responses and refine future mission parameters. When a drone like the MD-19 becomes operational, it doesn't just change how China fights. It changes how everyone prepares. That's why analysts and military planners from Taiwan to Washington are paying close attention. The MD-19 represents a quantum leap in air surveillance, and its implications stretch far beyond Asia. Take Taiwan, for example. In any future scenario involving heightened tensions or military confrontation, the ability to conduct real-time, high-speed reconnaissance without being shot down gives China a massive edge. The MD-19 could image coastal defenses, track troop movements, or monitor airfields in minutes, well before traditional recon planes or satellites could be tasked. And let's not forget South Korea, Japan, or even U.S. assets in Guam. The speed and maneuverability of the MD-19 make it extremely hard to detect or intercept. Current generation surface-to-air missile systems and radar networks are not optimized for objects moving at hypersonic speeds in near-space altitudes. Unless these systems evolve quickly, they risk being rendered obsolete in this new paradigm. Defense experts like Dean Chung have noted that China's growing fleet of hypersonic UAVs, including the WZ-8 and now the MD-19, is part of a larger shift in military doctrine. It's not just about acquiring new tools. It's about integrating them into a layered architecture that combines satellites, drones, fifth-generation fighters, and long-range missiles into a coordinated system of offense and defense. That's where the concept of asymmetric advantage comes into play. China doesn't need to match U.S. capabilities unit for unit. Instead, it develops systems that sidestep traditional strengths, such as long carrier ranges or satellite constellations. By using hypersonic drones to disrupt surveillance, target key assets, or create confusion, the PLA gains significant tactical advantages while operating below the threshold of open warfare. The MD-19 may not carry bombs, but its impact is explosive. It forces adversaries to rethink defense doctrines, update radar capabilities, and invest in next-gen countermeasures. In doing so, it doesn't just gather intelligence, it reshapes the battlefield. The MD-19 isn't just a drone. It's a signal that a new era of warfare has arrived. With unmatched speed, stealth, and flexibility, it redefines how surveillance and strategic dominance are achieved. From evading defenses to shaping regional power dynamics, its impact is already rippling across military doctrines worldwide. This isn't about replacing satellites or bombers. It's about enhancing them with tools that are faster, smarter, and nearly impossible to stop. As China sharpens its edge in the skies, the world watches and recalibrates. The race for hypersonic dominance has officially taken flight. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.